from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Tracy McCain. Here's a look at our top stories on this Thursday morning. Police in Meriden tell us a motorcyclist was killed in a crash. We're told 36-year-old Juan Cruz slammed into a pickup truck at the intersection of East Main Street and Paddock Avenue yesterday afternoon. Cruz was rushed to the hospital where he later died. Anyone who might have witnessed this crash is asked to call police. We're also tracking a troubling story out of New Britain where a one-year-old baby boy nearly died after ingesting fentanyl in a park. Police say the child was eating a cookie and dropped some of it on the ground. When he went to pick it up, he unknowingly grabbed a piece of plastic with traces of fentanyl on it and put it in his mouth. First responders were able to save the boy with naloxone. Heat advisory in effect today and tomorrow. Yes, both days. We've issued a first alert for both days as the heat indices are going to be between about 95 and 100 degrees. Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Scott Haney in the First Alert Forecast Center. There's the first alert for today and tomorrow. Heat and humidity makes the feels like the upper 90s. Outdoor activities are going to be impacted and it's difficult to stay cool, so seek out that air conditioning. Daytime highs today, upper 80s, low 90s, but it feels a lot warmer than that. And then another first alert tomorrow for the heat and humidity. And then another first alert for Sunday for storms. Monday gets a little bit better. Tuesday is the best of the next seven. So make some plans to be outdoors on Tuesday. But stay cool.